Hello, this is Hiroshi Shai of Satoshi's Treasure Hunters, and this is the weekly update in which we cover the things and activities that have happened on the hunt for the Satoshi's treasure. Uh, this is covering the events that have occurred between week week uh, June 29th to June 6th. So, um, wow, a lot has happened. We've had several keys that have been solved. We have had some public groups announce that they've had found keys that other individuals have found and there's been some adjustments to the game itself so let's get into the the keys that have been solved and uh, we'll talk about towards the end uh, an adjustment to one of the keys that have um, that was announced and the way you can earn the key I guess you can say has changed so on to the trail Okay, as of now, there's just still 18 keys. The last key that was released was the world key, which was found uh, pretty much uh, on the day that it was announced that the, the mini hunt was going to occur. That was July 1st, and if you were in Taipei from July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, you still had the opportunity after it had been found to obtain the key for yourself by going to the uh, Asian blockchain conference. Um, so far, only one group has announced that they have, in fact, uh, found the key. Uh, that's the Satoshi Cipher group. Uh, and they have, in fact, publicly released that particular uh, key. Uh, but let's go through all the keys. Uh, Jade, Bismuth, on the Maru, Lepong key uh, have been found. The Hunter key was found, but that was only one of part th one of three keys that are associated with that particular key. The Earth key, people are still struggling with that particular uh, key, has not been found. The Abun key has been found, but a public group, Tososhi uh, Cypher group, has in fact found that key as well. So if you are new to the hunt or you're part of a group that uh, is still looking to obtain keys, that key is still available. That has not been publicly released, so you can still find it yourself. Uh, the ASAP key, the clan key, went to the Toshi Cypher group. That was a contest key. Uh, the ASAP key was um, kind of a logic key or a code breaker key. That was found and publicly released. The room key has been found. People are still struggling to find that key itself. I, my understanding, you can still obtain it at that geolocation, even though July 7th is the last day of that exhibit. Uh, that key is, is still available. We'll see if it's still available after the July 7th. Uh, the cult key has been found. We'll talk about the adjustment to that key. The global key, the Nirvana key, uh, the first key, the zero knowledge key, and we'll talk about that during the update for uh, when that uh, contest ends, which is July, I believe July 11th. The first key from that particular uh, contest, the crypto, crypto, crypto graphic contest has been found and has not been publicly released. Uh, the philanthropy the key uh, started this week. So if your group is seeking to obtain um, the keys from, from each week from giving, you would have to basically outbid other, other groups in order to win each key for each week. And that started this week and I believe it ends for the first week, July 7th. And then the, and this starts over again for the following week for the next set of keys. Uh, the dissonance key has been found. That was a logic key. The freedom key was found. That was a geolocation key. We talked about that when I did a bit of a long-winded primer about the Satoshi treasure hunt for the new hunters. And then again, the world key has been found. So <clears throat> let's talk about the dissonance key. That was a logic-based key. Basically, you had to basically zoom in and out and look on the laptop, the surrounding area, and figuring out for the different clues and web links here within this particular key, uh, how to find it. Uh, it ended up following downloading a, an app. Uh, find, it was like a bit of a weird journey for people. There was a video involved where you had to listen to a conference and figure out the passphrase. Uh, this was publicly released uh, and you ended up having, uh, when you ended, when you uh, found the proper link from using the zooming in and breaking down the clues from the 
the, the, the clue itself. You got the decryptor page and then the key itself, which is right here, key 18. You would enter the passphrase, uh, which I have a link in the show notes, get the QR code and the key itself. It was a bit of an interesting journey, um, observing people that were uh, unlocking it and finding it. Uh, went to all sorts of kind of kooky, weird places um, through the internet. But that is something that this um, this game has. There even seemed to be some intentional dead ends, if you will, when finding this key, which was a bit bizarre. But then again, it could be just the way people were inferring the clues that they were finding. And it, they made either the wrong leap or really imaginative leaps of where to go to to find um, the appropriate clues to get you the link to the decipher page and then the passphrase itself. So that's the distance key. as a link in the show notes. You can find that key, um, enter the passphrase and get the key yourself. Then the world key, the world key, um, I was watching this as a Satoshi Cypher group and they have actually released it, um, publicly. You could, uh, they had a hunter on the ground and they were guiding the hunter and it was a combination of that oh reality t sh- reality tv show amazing race and the price is right so you had like in amazing race you had to go to these different locations you've probably never been to uh speak the language you probably don't know how to speak that you know the premise of the game because uh, we're Americans and we're so arrogant and arrogant and, and, and ignorant at the same time. Um, you had to do the like, tasks. So we, people are guiding the, the hunter on the ground. There's a great breakdown video by um, Satoshi's uh, Hunt News. I have a link in the show notes to it as well as a link right here. Uh, you basically had to like kind of shout prices right, like go left, go right, go up, go down, take that picture, take this picture, go here and there. It took them a while, but they were able to eventually find um, all the five locations. Um, they were able to get to this uh, decipher page, if you will. And from there, it led them to another location where they were able to obtain the key and the Bitcoin price. The hunter that was part of the Satoshi Chaser group, unfortunately, um, was an hour behind, if you will, and what did not win the, the mini hunt, if you will, but was able to obtain the key for the group. Um, this is again, the decipher link. And then if you enter the passphrase, you got this plus, uh, if you were the first one, 1000 USD PTC and this, uh, I would say this is the passphrase to unlock the private key. Um, as you can see, the funds were transferred from this reveal here to the Bitcoin balance was transferred from, from this, uh, address to three L O to the three L Y. And then you can follow it through the uh, blockchain explorer if you want to see where the funds went splitting from there. Now the interesting thing, oh no, not the cold key. Uh, the interesting thing about, and this was a thing about the room key, about it being a sticker and skater culture, as people were kind of looking for the, the keys, not really understanding or knowing what it is they're supposed to be looking for, uh, a hint was given. And so with the understanding of what it is they were looking for, they were, they were able to find, um, the keys rapidly. But the thing was that the key was not scannable um, right on the spot for the QR code. And it took some finagling within the group. And I guess what the the game makers did is they curved it. So it took a bit of a doing to uh, figure out this particular key. And there was also some word phrases or symbols or or there's a great breakdown of by the, the the Satoshi Cypher group, as well as um, the the video link I have uh, from another YouTube channel, uh, uh, SD News, uh, SD Hunt News. Uh, 
it was a bit a little bit different through people for a curve if you will literally a curve because the qr code was curved and this gave a hint for the satoshi group to be able to figure out uh the bunky from this particular hunt so as i spoke about in my el5 video about uh, the satoshi's treasure hunt these these clues and these keys are interlocked. A lot of them are interlocked. How you solve one can give you a hint about how to solve future keys. In this case, if you were able to solve the bunk key, it might, you might have been immediately able to recognize the, how to solve the world key. In this case, by solving the world key, the Satoshi Cipher group was able to work backwards and was able to solve the bunk key. And then for the cold key, there is some changes to it. Uh, we talked about it when the cold key was announced, how basically you can spam the, the method, the contest, if you will, to get as many numbers if you could, uh, fake numbers, if you will, to win the key. That was the case. Someone did, in fact, win the key this round. Uh, this is an announcement from their Twitter page. The first round of the cold key has ended, and the key has been distributed to the winner. Due to the overwhelming probability, prob popularity of the with hunters of the robotic variety we take we tweet we are tweaking the cult key for now it'll come back soon so they're going to make some adjustments to prevent spamming from occurring to win the particular cult key but the first of the first set i guess you can say the first key from this particular contest has in fact been distributed so here we are um we're just waiting for the next clue to drop the next key to be announced to see where we go from here what type of key it could be it could be another cartography key it could be another geolocation key contest key logic key um, maybe finally we can get a feat of labor or feat of extraordinary effort on the part of clans or, or hunters we finally can get something like that that or maybe another task um, key or a combination thereof of the different types of uh, clues and keys that they have established so far with this game <clears throat> So far, with the new influx of hunters, there have been some keys that have been unsolved for a while that have, in fact, um, been solved. Uh, there has been sh a shift in dynamics of the different groups, or at least the ones that have been publicly available. Um, I think the game is progressing so far pretty well. I think the game makers have made some adjustments to some of the criticisms that people have had about the game. Um, and we'll see, you know, how things go. I mean, there have been some errors. There's been some hiccups, if you will. And we talked about that, about the game mechanics of this game. Um, but I think they have took the criticisms, made the adjustments. Uh, they've been releasing the keys a little bit more frequently. I think there's been a pause because of um, the major holiday here in the state. States, if you will. And plus, they had a conference that some of them had attended to uh, in Thailand. Yeah, it's Thailand, Taipei or Taiwan, Taipei, anyway, anyways, they attended a conference, so they're probably traveling, recovering, and then um, getting back onto the hunt, we'll see how things go, um, but I'm looking forward to it whenever the next clue drops, uh, I, again, I have a link in the show notes to the ST News, uh, ST Hunt News, uh, it's a new uh, YouTube channel and news site that is um, giving some information about the Sochi Treasure Hunt, um, that's so pretty much all I have to say. Just, you know, number of keys went down. Distance key, the world key, uh, the one key was found by another different, a different group. There was adjustment to the cult key. And the first set of three keys has been found through the cryptogra cryptographic uh, contest, which is the zero knowledge key. I am uh, Hiroja Shai. This is Satoshi's Treasure Hunter.